This demonstration we look at configuring client settings for hardware inventory. So we're going to configure the hardware inventory settings, configure a custom inventory schedule and customize some hardware inventory classes. So in order to manage the client settings, all we do is come down to our administration workspace. We then go to our client settings and then what we do is we'll just edit the default client settings. Once we get in here, one of the options that we have here is we have hardware inventory. So in hardware inventory, as we can see here, we're going to enable hardware inventory on clients. That's set to yes. Then what we have here is we have our schedule. So the hardware inventory schedule at this point here will occur every seven days, effective from the state. If we have a look at the schedule, we can specify how often we want to run the hardware inventory, or we can specify a custom schedule if we don't want to use the simple schedule. However, we'll just leave the seven days as part of this little demo. Then what we've got here is we've got the maximum custom MIF. Now MIF is a managed information file, so we can specify the size and then we can store data within this file. What we're actually going to do at this point here is we're going to take the hardware inventory and we're going to store it directly into the SQL database associated with Config Manager. We also have the ability as well to set the classes. So what we'll do here is on set classes, we'll just wait for this to refresh. So what we can do is we can filter by category. So go all classes, just asset intelligent, mobile devices, or in my case, let's go for Windows client and server classes. And then what we've got is we can also filter by type. So we can have a look at enabled classes only, and we can also have a look at if we had any recently added classes. Down at the bottom down here, we've got the ability to import. So what we can do here is we can import information into the hardware inventory classes. We can export, we can add custom inventory from connecting through to another device. And what we can also do as well is we can delete inventory classes. What we're going to do just for purpose of this little demo is we'll collect BitLocker information, boot configuration information, and let's go for computer system product, Win32 computer system product as well. So now we've highlighted what it is we want to collect as part of the hardware inventory, we'll now just select OK. Now we've done that, we'll select OK again. That's the end of this demonstration of configuring the hardware inventory client settings. Thank you.